Hello everyone, this is Marcy and I um, just wanted to come to you with a quick tutorial, I think. This is my first time ever and um, I've I just been inspired by quite a few people on YouTube that have created these lace books and my friend Karen sent me one. Um, I'm trying to... She sent me one this week. And I thought, oh, this is so wonderful, and I'd love to be able to do it, but I really don't want to deal with measuring a whole lot of stuff. Um, so what I did was I kind of um, looked around to see what I had, and I have these mailers. Um, you know the ones that the U.S. Post Office send out? Well, if you ever receive one of these, don't throw it away, because here's a quick lace book um, makeup. So what I did, I um, cut the flaps off of the, these flaps so I cut this away so that it would then be um, like a straight thing and I'll show you the magic of video I try to get you prepared for this so it looks just like this so I've taken off the flaps there and it also had these little things here um, so you need to cut those off too so then you have a hold on I'm coming so you have this straight, sorry about my granddaughter, <laughs> she's watching she Sesame Street. Um, so anyway, the inside of it is 8.5 by 11 paper, go, to, go show Papa, quickly, 8.5 by 11 and what I did was cut it to the um, width of the box and then what I did was look at where the box folded at this point here and so I was able to fold it in and form my lines there. You could score it if you want to. I got another 8.5 by 11 paper, cut it in half, and then I scored it at quarter of an inch so that I could then put my inserts in here. Um, I used my red line tape so it was nice and um, sturdy inside there. So I had this for that part, and then I put my um, glue. Um, I used, um, I think it was my, uh, which one did I use? Oh, I just used this um, score tape, okay, for the quarter inch score tape to go along the inside. So then, um, by the time I finished, it looked like this inside. Before you put them in, you could cut them like this. Um, I did it afterwards, but then I had to draw a lot of lines inside. But, um, but so it looks just like the booklet now, and it, it took me just a few minutes. So now what I have is this um, beautiful lace book that I can decorate before I can decorate it before, and then of course glue in my pages. But then it closes beautifully like this, and you could use. Uh, Velcro here, or you could use ribbon like Karen did, um, and wrap it around the whole um, book, and it's perfectly uh, no measuring hardly, you know. Oh, I love it. Um, so, if you really want to know a little bit more about it, I'm not a tutorial person, um, but I tried my best to kind of give you an idea of how I did it. But these are the smallest mailers that they have at the post office once again if you get one don't throw it away or if you um, want to you can order them online and, and they are delivered to you I don't know if they'll like that too much but anyway that's my little tutorial for today don't know when I'm gonna have another one because I'm not a tutorial like I said person anyway so I did a little crafting today and I created this card and this card was made with the Sizzix Dress Dye, the one that's well sought after um, dye. A lot of people have been looking for this for a long time. I did, and I found this in Africa. Um, well, online, and they shipped it from Africa. And so I used the, the papers that I used. Let me put all my pieces together here. I used the um, Kirby Teasdale. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. Bought it when it was 50% off a couple of weeks ago. It has some really nice prints in there. I'm sure you've all seen it before. But the tones are beautiful. 
and and there are 120 packs in there. The paper's not heavy cardstock, but it's good enough. Um, here is the Suzuki die that I used, and there's the number if you're ever looking for it. I saw this on eBay for like $125, maybe even more now. $250 is the highest I've seen it for in another place. But yeah, a lot of people want that. I still get emails about it. Um, I used the Sugar Chic by Heidi Swap. And I used the Tim Holtz um, Baroque. This is the one I just got from Tuesday mornings last week. And um, that was it really. So the, the Baroque's on the inside. And then also this um, white cardstock paper that you see here. This comes from um, the die cuts the die cut cardstock from coordinations and it has 60 sheets in there and they are all different you get the different cutouts this one is like a flower and then you get them in all different colors and then you get the square with the scallops around it so I thought it was a really good deal I got it for 50% off when they had that um, and it, I think it's like three fifty nine when they have their specials going. So yeah, I did the Recollections Bling, Hobby Lobby, Trim, Martha Stewart Butterflies, made a couple banners there, if you can see those. And that's the thank you um, sticker that I got from Marshalls and there's a Recollection of Pearls there. This was actually one of the um, Hobby Lobby gemstones See, that's really pretty um, and that's about it really I distressed it with Victorian velvet okay and that's it distressed it all around here and that's it um, I did do a little shopping um, I did online um, but I did go to Tuesday morning and this is a new one at Tuesday morning it's called 14 and it's by um, crepe paper I think this is crepe paper and it's 14 got some really nice prints in there I think it's Valentine's so it's kind of cute I love that page there my battery is about to die again I don't know why this iPod's just not charging very much okay and then that and then I'll quickly show you um, CC designs had some stamps on clearance and these were um, $2.65 and she is Willow Willow with coffee to go she cool and then I bought this one for t they, and they, they're not foam backed you have to buy your own foam but this one I bought because it'd be nice to have um, put one of my Marcy stamps in there to sit inside that beach area it's called um, beach chair and then I got Angel Plane Trumpet for two sixty five. dollars They still had quite a few. And they actually tell you the quantity on hand while you're ordering, so it's good. And then I got um, Business Willow. Um, then I ordered from Not Too Shabby, and I got Little Blue Button. This is Charming Jessica. She's so cute. And She's not really big. I, I want to be a little bit bigger, but you know, that, that's okay. And I bought Tea Time Jessica. And these were $5.19, I believe. And it's from Not Too Shabby. And she sent me a little flower that my granddaughter seems to think she owns right now. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope the tutorial helps. And um, if you have any questions, you can PM me. All right, thank you.